Now, would you be more likely to catch a bus if it came every 10 minutes and took a more direct route? Researchers from Melbourne University have mapped an overhaul of buses in Melbourne's west and they say it will make the bus more accessible for thousands of people, saving time, money and cutting carbon emissions. Iqbal Hussain would love to catch the bus to Hoppers Crossing Station, but not if he's in a rush. Most of the time, if anyone miss bus, they have to wait 40 to 50 minutes. Once the bus arrives, it's not quick. Around, moving around, it takes almost 18 to 20 minutes. And by this time we are here, sometimes we miss the connecting train. So the car is king. The car park at Hoppers Crossing Station is full by 7am. Driving seems more reliable than catching a bus. I just, just go catch Uber, yeah, because it's too long for the wait. Researchers from Melbourne University say they've found a way to fix it. For the same resources, we could give people huge amounts of improvement in accessibility. They could have 10-minute services all day, seven days a week. The plan involves rerouting the bus network from this, with a bus stop within 400 metres of most homes, to this, with fewer routes running more often on main roads. If we concentrate the routes onto the arterials, some people might have to walk a little bit further, but what they'll be walking to is a 10-minute service. The number of people who could get to Hopper's Crossing within half an hour would increase by more than tenfold. The researchers only modelled the bus routes here in the western suburbs, but they say the research could work anywhere across the middle and outer parts of Melbourne. Putting the humble bus in the fast lane. Margaret Paul, ABC News, Melbourne.